And sorry about last week with the uh, time change. Yeah, me, Himanshu, and Agin, we, we three were on the call yeah. at dot 10.30 p.m. Oh. Or in Indian Standard Time. I'm sorry about that. And, yeah, I uh, I had another meeting I had to run to, unfortunately, that day. So, because my boss told I was like, oh, well, I have this meeting that always goes long. And she was like, well, you got to make it end on the right time because you got to be in this meeting. And Yash came on and told me that you guys were about to join me, probably. And I was like, oh, crap. Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, then Yash <laughs> came in and told us. Yeah, okay, that's great. Uh, okay, so it looks like. I mean, test-wise, it looks like we've just got the change log. So, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, can we make this say um, Intel, comma, Sockchamp? I don't know what the, what, the, what the legality or what we're supposed to do is, but I know that this is probably the safe version. So I've seen this before. Um, let's see. Um, um, uh, Hello. I spell your last name. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, hey, hi, John. Um, hey, how much? Actually, hey, actually, I'm on train. Okay, so I'm not sure how much time I can. Be <laughs> okay. On the yeah. Okay. So. So okay, let's. If you're doing something. Yeah, if I can talk first. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I can I can go at last because I have some things to clarify with John too. Okay. If anyone, uh, yeah. if everyone can go before me. If they okay. Want. All right. Okay, that works. Um, if that works for you, Sakshan, then that works for me. So let's see. Um, all right. So. Okay. So I haven't yet. Um, gotten a chance to, I haven't looked at this yet, um, but I did see it. I, I saw it and I skimmed it, but I haven't gotten a chance to look through it yet. Um, it looked good. Um, I haven't pulled it down and tested it. Um, let's see, did I add this comment here? Let's see. Oh yeah, the assertion error. Other than this, yeah, everything looked good as far as I could tell. Oh, but then yeah, the tests. So, uh, what? How is this going? And 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 uh, how's it going with you? Hey, want you? I hope we didn't lose him because of the train. If the trains here don't have constant network. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Um, I can write the notes so we're ready for them. So let's see. Uh, yeah, transformers. God, not good today. And uh, you are. Oh my gosh, that's funny. If you start to type this, it just inserts Laura notes. Okay, Transformers. Uh, you can see that the predictive text. Let's see. It's like a new thing. Um, okay, so Transformers looking good. Just need tests and minor edits. All right. And then he may have some questions, but we'll just wait. When when he's when he comes back with his questions, we'll just go right to him. Um, so, and then Sakshram, you said you had a lot of stuff you wanted to talk about. So Hashim, is there? You wanted to talk about the doc testable example stuff. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten back to you on that. Um, so I meant to I meant to type my reply, but I think it got lost. I switched between computers. Um, uh, what did you say? You said that, oh yeah, what's required versus what's um, good to have. So, oh, this is why it was a long reply. Okay, so, um, so doc test examples. So, required would be core APIs, um, which developers would extend from. 
Um, and these are things like the base model. Oh, okay, some of them have base in front of them, some don't. That's kind of a problem. Um, um, and then the, the model. Um, base database even would be nice, but I think those have... Uh, might have docs already. Um, and then... Uh, John, get yeah. him back. Uh, hey, yeah, so I have done that. Uh, yeah, I have added the transformer thing. So I have done for uh, this named entity recognition. So uh -huh. Everything I have added, except the test, which I will add, but this thing came in between. So yeah, so I am traveling. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, uh, so this morning I will be reaching. So tomorrow I will finish this test thing. Yeah. So other than that, this part, this part is done. Then maybe we can merge. Uh, I will say you just go through it once. I just yeah. Do it if you have something, yeah. I this, know I missed something. <laughs> it all looks great. Um, there's just this. Here's one thing I just saw. Um, I'll try to go through it. I just I skimmed it the first time, and, and I'll try to go through it with more of a fine tooth comb next time. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, there's there's this one thing. It's just that we changed the path lip stuff. Uh, where we okay. changed to use this so it's it's like a this is a no big deal um but yeah so uh, let me just do this but yeah um so yeah i'll go through and i'll try to i'll wait for those tests i'll try to give as much as i can but i'll mostly i'll probably wait for those tests um and then i'll and then i'll give you the final review but this looks like it's pretty much ready to go as far as i can tell so uh yeah so i have done uh, i have done so that uh, like we will have the full control over the model so basically we can do it in four lines also yeah uh, but uh, by using this we can even control how gradients will flow back so like to really really low level we can great. control that and we can simply use all the three commands like train test and that's great just that's want great to use the model. that's great so we are done uh, yeah. yeah it's so looking very good as far as i can tell here yeah, so there are other models also. This is NER, like we can add question answering and other thing also. Uh, but for now, I'm adding the NER first. Okay. And then uh, maybe we can add others. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, so then obviously also you're going to do the, the example. And, and, um, and we can use the GPU also on this. Yeah, I see that. That's very cool. And I saw you have the TPU stuff. Yeah. 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 So I like to be the first test this thing because uh, we can connect the uh, TPU online, right? The yeah. Google, Google TPU that they give. So I like to test it. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, the one thing that I do know, so the one thing about this is that um, zero less features to data set. Oh, sorry. Um, control F, control V. Okay. Um, so. I believe that we're doing these data sets, right? You're just uh... yeah. They are, uh, this is for uh, to distribute the data set among the GPUs. Yeah. If you have many GPUs, then there will be a particular way of uh, like copying the variables and all those things uh -huh. so for that this stuff. Yeah, but basically, right? We end up yeah, appending it to these, these arrays. Um, so yeah, this is something. That, yeah. So then... Yeah. So this is something that. Um, uh, that we're going to need to to figure out at some point is is how do we interface these libraries that, that right so we've got this asynchronous interface to the sources um because the sources are likely network connected um and so we're pulling sort of data in from the network and then we're feeding it to the stuff that's cpu bound um which is all of the you know all of the uh uh the model training and stuff like this is this is is my understanding of what you're saying here is that this is uh it's got some features and then you're splitting them into a batch right um and then also what the data frame stuff right this is basically just saying like okay we have one massive thing in memory well we're going to run into the situation eventually here where, where we don't have enough memory um and so let's see um uh so this is um will eventually run into so basically i mean I'll, I'll make this a note down just in case we lose you again but this looks good um for what you're doing here i just wanted to tell you that so we're one of the things we're going to have to figure out in the future here is 
how do we feed all this stuff in like an asynchronous way? Uh, or sorry, how do we feed all this stuff in a, we've got this asynchronous way of feeding it, um, and we need to make that like compatible with the existing uh, TensorFlow APIs that take iterators instead of async iterators. Um, and I kind of like, I was able to play around with that and, and get some of it to, to work in a situation where you aren't already in async IO. I don't know if we can go from so if you're just like, it, all the no async APIs, like if you look at the no async predict, you can just run predict and it will actually internally, it gets an async iterator and then it iterates over each one by calling the next method. Um, so we like need to do something like that for TensorFlow because I know it can take an iterator because um, that would actually allow it to, to have some of this data that's not in memory. Because uh, we may just have the issue where the data set's too large. The other thing that we may do is we may iterate through all the sources. And uh, we may say that, like, okay, if you see a CSV file, then you use the internal uh, TensorFlow optimized CSV reader um, for that data source. Um, but these are sort of things that we'll figure out, like, when you when you try to train, train this giant model. So just, just uh, sort of... If, if that blows up, then then let us know and let us know uh, how it's playing. John, uh, yeah. Uh, I think Imanshu uh, got disconnected again. Okay. All right. Well, he'll hear what I said on the recording then. So, all right. Thank you. Uh, I'll need to resolve. All right. Um, so yeah, um, okay, so, Hashim, did you hear what I was saying about the, uh, doc testable examples here? I'm not sure, let's see. Alright, well, if not, here, one second, guys, I gotta blow my ass. I'll be right back. Um... All right, sorry. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, all right, well then I guess let's just jump to the uh, to the um, um, the PNG source stuff. Let's see uh, here. All right, so one of the tricky things about this is like we we're talking about. Yash was talking about um, we will want to make this configurable. Um, with the resizing, right? Um, and then until then, we're going to do the MNIST PNG. Um, so that's good. And that way, you know, when people say, or, or, oh, uh, that means, that will mean that people need to name their things MNIST PNG, uh, because of the way this works. Um, but that's probably still good, um, because, or else we're going to end up in this weird situation because this is like a very specific thing. Um, so, I mean, so the so part of what's going on here is is it's kind of like our situation with the uh, the sources, right? Um, and so let's see. Um, where is the config loader? Yeah, well, config loader. So the problem right now is that uh, we've got this config loaders class, um, which simplified the usage of the, the config loader, right? Um, so you just pass it the file and it, and it loads it. Um, well, this is all great until we need to pass configs, right? Um, and so the other thing is that, well, some of these files, like if you had two PNG files and you wanted one, to load it one way and one to load it another way, then uh, then you're kind of out of luck, right? Um, because how are you going to pass? I mean, I guess we could do it by column, um, but in which case then we'd need to be like specifying all of this stuff within the CSV source, right? Um, 
So, right, because if, if the CSV storage is the one that's using the config loader API, um, and it's saying, okay, load file, then it would need to say, okay, for this file, here are the options, or here are the, here's the configuration for that config loader, and then this guy could have something that's like self.config.resize2, right, and that would be something that we'd pass in there. Um, but, you know, that sort of may just get very um, out of hand. Right. Um, so I think the best the best way to continue here is kind of like you've done, where we get this working, um, and then once we have another image example, then we come back and see, okay, how do we make them both work together, right? Because or else we're sort of just creating, um, we're, we're inventing things that we don't know would work yet, right? So next time we, we hit an image problem, like the next image thing that we deal with, then we come and we, we figure out what's the ideal way to make, make we can, we this can, work. Uh, so think about this in the pre-processing stuff and pass the sizing and everything yeah that could be um that could be something that we want to do yeah it's because if you have just the config loader that reads the png then i mean this could be the extent of this config loader right like it's basically just return this and then you throw it through the 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 pre-processing which would be like you know some operation or some data flow that does whatever this is right is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm saying that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Let me let me make a note of that. Uh, so, um, PNG source. Uh, for now. Uh, so at this point, it looks like you just need the change log, I think, right? Um, and then, oh yeah, this needs to be updated too. So this should be 0.5. Uh, and then this should be, let's see, uh, let's see, yeah, we got to make sure all this stuff is correct, so, um, all right, well, I'll go, I'll go through and, and do this one after we're done here, um, let's see, uh, does this pass, this, I don't think this passes, does it? Uh, no, I think it doesn't pass because of the bytes, byte source, I think. Yeah, yeah. Bytes I.O. source, it was giving an error. Bytes I.O. source? Um, well, I mean, this is what you what we're doing here is we're basically saying, okay, pump out a dictionary and then load in the dictionary, right? But the config loader, it is, I mean, in this case, it looks like you're, where did it go? Okay, yeah, wrapper resourcing code. So that's not, I mean, so this is saying you, you've implemented the load method, right? But if you wanted to save this file back to disk, then what What would it, you know, you have to, you have to also implement that method. Um, so is that, I mean, at this point, you could raise assertion error, or you could raise not implemented error if you, if you don't know, if you don't, um, if you don't, it may, it may be best to just raise not implement error here, um, because like uh, you would just have to do the reverse of this flatten and resize, right? Um, and unless we're planning on having people modify these images at all, which I don't think we are planning on supporting at this point, I don't think there's any real reason uh, to do that right now. Um, then we don't need we don't need to to have them uh, to be able to dump out, right? So you could just do raise not implemented error. Um, and then of course, if we're hitting that, then we need to figure out, okay, well, why, why are we why are we hitting this? Um, and then we probably need to make it so that the config loader doesn't, or like the, uh, the source, I guess, right? Because we're using the CSV source, and the CSV source is going to use this, and we know it's going to do the load. Well, if it ends up doing the dump, then we should avoid that. Um, or, I mean, it it really probably should. Uh, now that I think about it, um, we should have it so that. Uh, let's see. So load file. 
Um, all right, great. Oh, yeah, you did this, too. This is great. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, one second. <coughs> okay, so it looks to me like right now you won't hit the not implement error. Um, because there was, um, let's see. Because, uh, so you added it with the load in the CSV source, right? You grab the data, but we don't yet, um, yeah, we don't yet add it to dump, right? So you're not going to hit that. Um, so what we need to do here is, um, so change this to just do, sorry, uh, just do load, uh, load B. Um, and then, um, and then we need to, um, so change this to correct path to read me, um, and let's see, what else do we need to do here, um, let's see, I missed... Uh, uh, in the docs, I also added the four images for for an example kind of purpose. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's great. Thank you. Uh, I Thank I you. just wanted to ask if that was okay. Um, are they one? Of the, are they the images from the data set? Uh, no, I created those images. Oh great, so. perfect. Yeah, um, let's see. All right, great. Yeah, these should be great. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what, what how we have to cite people if we end up actually including the data set. So this is perfect. Um, thank you. Oh, well, that'll be great. Um, let's see. I don't think it'll end up showing up, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, this looks very good. This is exactly what we want here, right? Um, and then you've got the predict. Um, and then it would be good to show, because um, this is, yeah, this is the predict, right? So it would be good to show the JSON output of that predict command. Um, so, um, and let's also, let's also just delete this, because this kind of isn't, that's not sort of consistent with what everything else we have. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so let's also then, after this, um, include JSON uh, output, or include example of JSON output as a result of the predict command. So that way people will know what to expect um, when they run that command. Okay, so the thing is like, uh, I uh, uh, run this on four images. So uh -huh. the thing is that big array of, uh, we, uh, we talked about this, right? Uh, what do you mean? Like the uh, 784 uh, uh, yeah. row of one-liners. Oh, 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 it's going to show all that. Yeah, just clip that out then. Clip that out of the... Uh, of the JSON output, so just sort of put dot 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 or something. Um, yeah, because that will that will look like a giant mess. <laughs> good point. Good point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, because it's going to display all the feature data. That's right. Um, this is another thing that we should really do at some point. Is uh, is is often. You opened an issue modes. about this. Okay, what? To get around that, you opened an issue about this. I did. Yeah. I probably. Let's see. Um, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, this is something we should have done a long time ago. Um, this is not a closed issue. Maybe I forgot to open the issue. Um, because we needed output formats. Um, because right now it just outputs in JSON. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember you opening that issue. Yes. I saw that issue. Yes, here it is. Um, January 21st. So, yeah, this would be a good one. Um, this would be a good one to, to tackle, too, because then you could sort of, uh, you know, filter out things you didn't want. You could say, just just give me, um, you know, but, but this would be sort of more, this is like its own project um, that could be done here. So... Um, so let's see, um, actually we could make this like, this could be full GOC project status idea. Um, cause this is like, this could be a huge thing. Um, project. All right. Um, let's see. But yeah. Okay. So anything else on this one? Um, yeah, let's update the review. So update. Date read me two point two um where uh let's see two point two docs or there's no config loader for the docs. Um uh update read me two point two MNIST example on docs because that'll be the clearest example of how to use this um yeah okay so is there anything else in here um no uh, I, think about? I think this will request i will i will uh, push the changes that you have uh, suggested okay and great I think it will be ready to work. cool yeah, yeah it's, it's looking, looking good all right nice, nice job. job so let's thank see. you Almost done. Uh, in me. All right. Um, so let's see. So Hashim, um, how is? Did you? Can you hear us? Let's see. We can barely hear you there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Um, so, I'm sorry, I meant to get back to you on that, but I think my reply got lost. I switched between computers, and, and I typed it out on one and not sent it on the other. Um, but so, the deal here is we've got the core APIs would be sort of the required things that, that we care about, right? Because these are things that um, kind of like the... Uh, so let's pull it up. Uh, okay. Uh, um, oops. Uh, wrong one. Wrong API docs. Okay. Here we go. So. Uh, yeah, this is an all very thing. Let's see. So the data flow stuff. So this is, yeah, the data flow stuff is a ton of mess. But so with the model, obviously we'd want to we'd want to add stuff in here, um, right? This is this is based. This is what I mean by model. Is we're talking about um, uh, basically these methods that are in high level. It's going to be very similar to this, right? Only. Uh, we're doing them at the level of the, the base class itself. Um, uh, so they're slightly different um, in what you're going to document here. Um, and then the, the simple model is, is its own thing that just got, got added, um, which doesn't seem to be documenting all of its methods for some reason. Um, so 
uh, it's basically, you know, we just go through this and, and we document it like, okay, what are these, what are these methods supposed to do so that when someone goes and implements them, like when you're going through the tutorial, you kind of understand what they're supposed to do, but then you can really get a, a better idea of like, okay, what is, what is the full, full spiel on what this is supposed to do and what are the, the arguments, um, which is not going to be a lot to do here because it's pretty, pretty much already done. It just needs sort of like the args and the NumPy formatting and maybe, um, well, I don't know if we can really do an example with these because they're abstract. Um, and then, uh, like the, so the, the source is, is going to be something that will be helpful to document as well. Um, this one we could do examples for, um, because this is not an abstract base class. Um, and, uh, and so that's, that's the type of thing where we could add example code for, um, that could be doc tested, right? Um, so the rest of this stuff here that's not abstract base classes, we could all add examples for. Um, and then, let's see, the database stuff. Um, uh, sorry, the database stuff um, is pretty much, I mean, we got some comments on this already, but this would be the kind of thing where, let's see, I think this one, yeah. These guys with the query commands are almost the same stuff, um, but they have the NumPy formatting. It would be helpful to get um, the doc testable examples on these. Um, this one has sort of like a, a light example, but it's not a real doc testable one. Um, and then this is, of course, the, the actual. This is so this one builds queries for SQL stuff, and this one is actually like the 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 real the meat of it, right? Um, this is the abstract base class. And so this one we couldn't do, actually this one we couldn't do um, uh, uh, doc tests on because they're abstract, but we could do doc tests on SQLite. Um, so, and basically the theme here is things in the standard library are, or like, not the standard library, but things in the top level package, the DFFML package, are the ones that we really need to do the um, examples and uh, and um, um, anything that's not an abstract base class, we should be doing examples on, and anything um, that that is like already documented in here is something that we should be having um, the full NumPy doc strings on. Um, and that would be basically how I would say what's what's uh, what's required versus optional. Um, optional would be like going and documenting the uh, the uh, sort of adding doc strings to the. Mm, let's see. Um, I guess optional would be when you get into the plugins. I was going to say the various models, but you could do any of the plugins, right? So if you wanted to go and document the HTTP API more, that would be sort of the first target I would suggest. Um, we have this API docs right now, um, which is for the HTTP interface itself, um, but we're missing the one that is, um, we're missing, um, let's see, where is the code? Um, we're missing doc strings in the actual implementation itself, um, which is in here. So methods, these kind of methods here, is they don't have any doc strings on them, um, and so this type of stuff would be like optional, right? So anytime you're in the plugins, it's optional. Everything in the main library, if it's abstract based class. We want to have NumPy doc strings. If it's not an abstract based class, we want to have examples. That would be sort of, right. I think the the right way to go with this. So, uh, let me just write that down. Do you have any uh, thoughts about that, or anything you wanted to talk about other than that? Uh, no, nah, I was just. Uh... No, that's all. That's okay. All cool. Of it. Great, great. Then, yeah, of course, Pingmi, sorry, sorry I've been busy. Um, I've had a lot of other things that I've had to take care of, uh, fires to jump on. Um, but I, I'm hopefully going to be around more. I think I pretty much put out all the fires, so um, I, I should be more available sorry. now. 
let's see. Give it some shark base class. Um, numpy doc strings. If it's uh, uh, not, then numpy doc strings. And yeah, actually, there was uh, another another yeah. uh, thing I asked you. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> about about the scope. Uh, I mean, how big or how small should it be? I'm not sure. Yeah, so um, I guess so. I mean, this is so. This is what I would say is, is I I think that, and so the okay. So here's the other caveat to this is, uh, don't worry about data flow. Um, this is this is like. All right, so the data flow stuff is, is kind of confusing. I made an effort to document it recently. Ogden knows most about it um, other than me. Um, but uh, it that might be sort of like, I would say that if you're looking at scope, right? So, or well, so scope um, must is, uh, So let's see. The must the must do would be all of the stuff in the standard library because I don't think this will take all of that long. Um, right. And then um, in DFFML main package. Um, and then the stretch. Uh, stretch is data flow um so this so the data flow would be really great to document um let's see let me just show you why this is intimidating um so there's a lot of stuff in here um and so some of them oh, oh most of them have some kind of documentation ish um, that's not, uh, this is not the best documentation. Um, but, okay, okay so, so, let's see. Um, so, uh, this kind of stuff would be very, very, very helpful to document. Um, now, it would also be kind of it would be, I mean, you'd have to read the code and, and then and then figure out what it does. And, and it mostly does what it says it does. And it should be pretty straightforward-ish to read. And there's now um, the, the conceptual overview of what the hell's going on here. Um, so I think this is sort of something that could be in scope at this point. Um, but you could sort of take your pick. Um, and you could say, stretch is, is data flow uh, would be preferred. And um, then, uh, and then, so the, the data flow would be preferred, and uh, other plugins would be secondary to that. Um, keep in mind, uh, if you want to go document other plugins, uh, you need to figure out, out how you're going to include them in the main or in the documentation site. Uh, because right now, only DFFML, not plugins, uh, is included, uh, included under under API documentation or under API let's just API reference on documentation site under API reference uh, right yeah so you'd have to find a way to make that like in an organized fashion appear under there um, kind of like I mean the plugins are the attempt at making the sort of the documentation that we're writing about it up here under here and this is messed up right now yeah um but so like this is sort of like this is not the api docs but this is the docs about it right so now we need a way sort of like we did the plugins to 
to have this this kind of stuff included over here. So you've basically got, you know, you've got two sorts of challenges you could go with. I want the challenge of documenting the data flow, um, which you may you may have easier luck with at this point um, because uh, it's been sort of documented a bit. Um, you're just going to have to pull from that. Um, to in your you're going to have to spend the time to understand it right and, and hopefully there's enough yeah. resources for you to understand it and if, and if there's not then then you can contribute back and say okay here's the extra things that now i now know about it that that would have been helpful right um right. and then uh, uh or you could just say okay like these you know i want to go and, and document the apis of these various things the, the models the models and the sources um um I don't know how much value there is here because the abstract base class defines what's going to happen. Um, so I think that if you're going to go document something like the uh, uh, models and sources are less of a priority than uh, HTTP service, um, which is another thing that you'd probably have to read through the code and understand to be able to document. Um, but right, models and sources just implement that abstract base API. So there's really not much to talk about. Because um, if you've documented it once there, then you've documented it, right? So, because all of the, anything it derives from it is just going to implement the same API. Um, and then, you know, all their arguments are documented already here. So uh, it, it's probably something where you want to pick like the HTTP service or um, I can't think of what other ones there are right now, but you, but, I would say it's probably probably between data flow and HTTP service, or, or maybe both, depending on if you get in here and you and you figure out, you know, okay, I'm done already. Then you just go on to the next one, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, and the HTTP service is already sort of more set up to be integrated with the rest of these docs. Because um, if you look at, if you go to HTTP API, this actually pulls in the documentation under um, uh, here it links to this. So basically, this this page here is this index page. Um, so, and then it has the contents here, and it's listing these other pages. So it's already all set up to do this. Um, uh, so yeah, that might make it easier. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's really all I have to say about that one at this point. Yeah, this is very helpful. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Yeah, let me know if, if that's, if, if this seems like, cause obviously as a part of proposals, what we're looking for is, is, um, and Terry said it well the other day, um, we really want to understand that, you know, how much time uh, let me write this down so proposals uh we're really we're really looking to understand like that for you to lay out okay here's what i think i'm going to get done and here's how much time it's going to take me and here's why i think that's how much time it's going to take me right um because google is expecting um, that people be working like 30 plus hours a week on this. Um, so we need to make sure that we're all on the same page for what kind of stuff is getting done. And if you see that, okay, like I've, you know, planned this out and it seems like, okay, I've got four weeks worth of work, but I don't have the last few weeks worth of work. Well, now I need to need to put in my proposal. I'm going to tackle something else too, right? Like I might go and, and like I just talked about that, that one with the output formatting, um, that might be something where, you know, somebody would say, oh, okay, like, it looks like I still have work that I could, that, the time that I can be doing work. Well, then, like, let me tackle something else. Because, um, so that's really what we're looking for. Uh, so proposals, uh, looking to see what uh, work you want to get done, how long you think it will take you um, and uh, why you think it will take you that long. Um, and so why it will take you that long. 
So take that long is um, something or is uh, augmented by how long it's taken you to do previous contributions, right? So, because, you know, if it, if this is, like, if you look at the size of your previous contributions and you look at what you were trying to do and you look at how long it took you to do this, then that's going to be the best way you can estimate, you know, how this is going to take you in the future. And so when you're writing down your time estimates, you can be thinking about, okay, well, what am, what am I trying to accomplish here? I did something similar. We got that merged. How long did that take? Now I can estimate um, how long this is going to take, right? And then you always just sort of say, this is an estimate. I don't know for sure, but, you know, we need to make a time schedule so that we're all on the same page when we go to do this over the summer. Um, if right. we get selected, right? So, yeah. Um, is there okay. anything else that you want to talk about there? Yes. Uh, this is great. All right, cool. <laughs> um, so, I'd like to talk to, uh, if oh, it's yeah. okay, I'd like to talk to you about um, uh, the proposal for some of code. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think we still have or did you want to talk to just me or did you want to talk to everybody because I think Yash um, uh, Yash I'm sorry I can't I don't remember how to say your last name um, Varshni is still on and wanted to talk about um, uh, where's your pull request I can't remember which one it was um did, so, yeah, did you want to talk to just me, or did you want to talk, talk to everybody? Uh, I only wanted to talk to you. Okay, so yeah, that's about... understandable. So, let's see. Um, I know a lot of people have, have pinged me or other Yash one-on-one, -on -one, so let's see. Um, do we want to talk about the should I stuff first? Yes. Oh, I am Yash, the other mentor. Oh, okay. I'm not Yash. Oh, you're Yash mentor, Yash. All right. Yay. All right. All right. Usually, you must be on a different account then, because usually your your picture pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am on a different account. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, then we're all good to go. Um, it sounds like. Um, well, let's see. If you wanted to just talk to us, then uh, let's see. So it sounds like Kamachu is uh, is offline, so we can get back to him later. Well, I guess we could hop on a hop on a separate call here um, if you just wanted to talk to Yash and I. Um, is there anything else you wanted, Hashim? No, it's okay. Uh, I can leave. Thank you. Okay. No worries. Thanks. Have a good one. Goodbye. Stay healthy. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's just, or well, let me, let me, here, let me pause this. So.